Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, the BricsCAD sales and support point in India. In this video, I am going to show you some of the concepts and procedures involved in the export and import of PDF files from BricsCAD. Let us say you want to export this drawing as a vector PDF file. So the first thing you need to be clear about is what area you want to export and what is the scale at which you want to export. So first I am going here to the model tab, right click, go to page setup and I am going to click on window and pick the first corner of the window here and the second corner here. Now that defines my area that I want to export as a PDF file. Next I come to plot scale and I go to this option here called fit print area to size of page and uncheck it and I'm going to choose the scale as 1 is to 1. So when you choose the scale as 1 is to 1 it means the PDF file will have a scale which is exactly equal to what you have in your drawing. Once that is done I'm going to click OK. Next I need to check one settings in the PDF export. So I go to setting, I go to program options, I go to files, I scroll down a bit then I go to export, scroll down further, go to PDF export and you can see that there is an option here called PDF zoom to extends more. If it is checked, you have to make sure it is unchecked and I'm going to close this and then I'm going to file and export PDF. I'm going to give the name as PDF underscore test. So it has already exported the PDF file. Now let us import this PDF file and see how it looks. So I go to the insert tab and there is an option here called PDF import. This is the one you need to use to bring the PDF in as a vector PDF. So before that, okay, so that is the PDF file and if I hit enter on that, it will open the PDF viewer and show you the file. So this is how it looks in the PDF viewer. Looks good to me. I'm going to exit. Come back to BricsCAD. PDF import. Select the file. Specify number of pages. That is one insertion point somewhere here now scale specify scale so by default it's one so just leave it at that rotation is zero so you can see that the pdf has been imported into the drawing now this is a vector pdf so that's why you see lines polylines text and so on so if you realized I exported the PDF file with a scale of 1 and imported it back as well with a scale of 1 that is why I see these two input and output with exactly the same size. Now let us see what happens if we import it with a smaller scale. So we go back again to PDF test. Insertion point is here. Scale instead of 1 I am going to put the scale as 0.5. So the PDF file is now half the size of the original one. So this means there are two places where you can set the scale. So if you set the scale during plotting under page setting. So if you set the scale during the export under page setup, if you set it as 1 is to 1, you will get the PDF file with exactly the same size as the original. If you change the scale here to 1 is to 2 or something else, the PDF itself will have a different scale. Now when you bring it back during import, you again have the option to change the scale. So if you set the scale as 1 during import, it comes in with exactly the same scale as was saved in the PDF. Now this was about exporting a PDF file from within the drawing. What if you already have a PDF file which you have got from outside? In that case, I would suggest that you just import it with a scale factor of 1, measure one of the known distances in the PDF and find out whether it is correct or wrong. If it's wrong, you will be able to tell what is the scaling to be applied to get the correct length and then you can reinsert the PDF with the correct scale. So this is how you manage scales in PDF files. Of course, there's another option. You can just import it with a scale of 1. So you get a bunch of vector data like you, like you saw just now. And then you can use the normal BricsCAD scale command to scale it to the correct dimension you want. So you can see that there are multiple ways in which you can manage scale, multiple ways in which you can export and import PDF file from BricsCAD. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions please do feel free to get back to me.